Oh, hi everyone, we are at uh, Lightning Hack Day in Munich and here is Lash from Cory. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, cool, cool. Uh, so tell uh, our listeners a bit more about uh, who are you, what you do. Yeah, so um, I was a researcher, so I did my PhD in Bitcoin back in 2013. And I've been doing research in Bitcoin now for about, or I got Ethereum uh, for about five or six years. So, considering this is the Lightning Hackathon, I got really interested in all chain protocols around 2014, 2015. That's sort of when Duplex Micropayments by Christian Decker came out and the Lightning Network came out in 2015. So, I've just been doing a lot of research in that area now since then. Oh, and I guess what I should also mention is that I quit my job last month. So, uh, I was an assistant professor at King's College London, and then uh, now I'm going to do a startup around the you know, off-chain lightning network. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I should say like congratulations or, <laughs> or, or <It's>, condolences. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, like, it doesn't sound like a big jump, but if you think about academia, you spend five years doing this PhD and doing a postdoc, and then trying to get this assistant professorship, like one of the most competitive jobs ever in academia. So, not even to get that is just giving it up after six months. Is, I think that's pretty insane. So, so your company, yeah. you're gonna um, do some layer two solutions, right? Yeah, exactly. So one thing I've been focusing on is sort of the watchtower problem. So back in 2017, I was at DevCon 4 and I spoke to Lev Terris from Raiden. And I was having some cocktails, so I was a little bit drunk. And he told me about this monitor problem, you know, this accountable third party that could be watching the channel. And I knew about the problem, but I never really thought about trying to solve it. So I went back to England and I basically sat there with a few PhD students and thought, well, how do we solve this? So what came out of that was a protocol called PISA. That's basically an accountable service. You know, you can hire us, we give you a signed receipt that we promise you hired us, and then we just respond on your behalf. And if we don't, you can punish us. So that's the basic premise of what we're working on, accountable services. And for this, it's mostly off-chain protocols. Yeah, cool, cool. So what uh, like uh, to finish our quick interview, what's yeah. your, your thoughts in general on how uh, Lightning develops or yeah. how cryptocurrency space in general develops? Yeah, what yeah. are the biggest challenges in, in your opinion? Um, let me step back a little bit first. So when I got back in 2013, I remember I found Bitcoin. I was really excited that it would be this global payment system for e-commerce. Uh, but Bitcoin's not very good for payments overall. You know, people don't like spending their Bitcoin because it's deflationary. You know, you buy, you buy a pizza today, you have 10,000 Bitcoin there, you miss out $100 million. So that's actually really annoying. But um, over the past few years, I've been sort of thinking, you know, what are people actually using cryptocurrencies for in general? And actually what they're using it for is high frequency trading. So what I really see this emerging now is a sort of this open source financial system that anyone can access and is completely permissionless. So someone in Indonesia could buy equity in your company and you don't even know who they are. They could all be traded on the secondary market. So it opens up access to everyone in the world to this. So that's why I see this sort of going in the, the long term. So what I see Lightning being used for, it's not really for payments. Maybe that's a bit controversial. But I see Lightning being used for is reading. As in, you may have these non-custodial hubs, like payment channel hubs or plasma hubs. And Lightning's going to be in the middle. And Lightning really excels at bidirectional payments going back and forth. You know, that's actually Lightning fast. And then that means anyone could basically, I can set up a Lightning node and I can contribute towards this new Visa Lightning network. So it's going to be Visa on steroids that's supported by anyone who really wants to participate. And if that's the case, I think that's actually much better than payments for Lightning. That's my, own, my controversial opinion. Cool, cool. Yeah. Very interesting. We'll keep track on, uh, on you and your, your work and your company. And, uh, Thanks a lot. Cool, no problem. Thank you guys.